Oh, I, you know, I, that's my instinct. But I'm just an idiot. Wait, there's the ladder. Oh, I was supposed to turn right. I was playing as Carlos. Then it would be a guarantee. I can still catch him. That's right, I'll knife him. I'll do it. Oh, we're outside. Okay. Car no, you killed Carlos. Not like this. Promised you this, didn't you? No! Do you have any idea what you've just done? No, no. Don't care. My client ordered me to reduce umbrella to rub. Ten minutes until missile ah. impact. The missile has launched. And that is my cue. Goodbye. Shame you didn't listen to me when you had the chance. Carlos! You alive! Yes, Carlos, take him out. Jill! Shoot him! I can't! I'll hit you! Do it! You have to! There's no other way. I missed. Carlos! No. no. Oh wow. Oh, that's an ending. <laughs> Knew you couldn't pull the trigger. <laughs> I missed. I completely whiffed it. Oh, that's hilarious. I can't, I, I I thought it was just Yeah, I understand the prompt game. Oh I I hate you game. You're gonna make me do this because I because it took me a while to shoot. I can still catch him. Look, let me use the shotgun. He wants it. Carlos. I don't want Carlos to die. Alright. Thank you. Carlos! Hey, I told you I couldn't leave you in a Carlos's world. That would just be too cruel. What about him? Why'd you do it? There's a price tag for everything. Even letting the world burn. <laughs> Who are you working for? I'll tell you. If you get me out of here. I'll pay you whatever you want. You're a fool. You're a fool! If I die, you'll never find out the truth. I don't mind a little detective work.
fire raccoon city. Second, he would have hit in like a nearby police station. <laughs> it's finally over. No, wait, everything's gone. Never mind. You would hit a destroyed nuclear so police station. I felt empty and cold as the heat from the blast washed over us. All this death wasn't caused by a monster-making virus. It was greed. Human greed. I'm I decided then and there, the ashes of Raccoon City would be Umbrella's ashes too. I would end them, once and for all. I'm pretty sure that thing still has like some residue, right? Of the vaccine. Alright, that was Resident Evil 3. And I think it was good. For what it was. Which was an action horror, not a horror action. There's some issues that would bring up my knife. You know how I complained and bitched about the knife in Resident Evil 2? I fucking missed the knife. Because that actually put dread in me. That knife was like, if I, if I just need that knife. And this knife was like, yeah, just go ahead. It's like, it ain't fun. And yeah, I think that was like how most of the game was, was like, it, it took away from, like, <laughs> even at the end, I had so much ammo. Um, the boss fights. Are you considered on boss fights? I mean, well, his couple ones were like fine, like running away from, but then it just took a grenade to take him out. But I'm pretty sure that's just what standard mode is. And I discovered that by f accident, which was hilarious, because I was like, yeah, just chuck a grenade, see what happens. Add a bunch of zombies, and he was just right there, and it's like, oh, he dropped something. Okay, I'll look for grenades now. The grenades became my new knife. Um, story. I, you needed Carlos. I think it should have been more of Carlos. I think it should have been like how two was. Three should have had that two part story as well. But not like A and B, just like them switching back and forth. If you didn't want to do A and B, B, A, something like that. I mean, that would have been cool to see more of that. The Umbrella squad. Because like they said, they had a whole... They had a whole team that got ambushed. It's like, I wanna I wanna see that. Like how do they get ambushed? Like like you play some seeds on it. You know, because if you didn't play three and you like Oh yeah, it's like you heard like the commander. He's like, Yeah, I wonder who locked the door behind us. It's like Hey, you should have just done that, because like you should have just done that. You know? And he's, he he does he's Nikolai ain't working for Rackens like who is he working with? I don't know. I haven't been that far. It's my, this is my second Resident Evil game. So... What kind of song is this? Ah, I don't know. Forget it. Um, so yeah, the story... I think it's like the same amount, the same amount as like one playthrough of two? Maybe a little bit less. No, I think it's a little bit less. I think it was like 10 and this was like almost 6. So yeah, that's that. Um, yeah, Nemesis didn't have that vibe as um, Mr. X. Because you can taunt the guy and it's that kind of brought him down. Because he didn't disappear. That was the problem. Because if you were in a safe room, he would just wait for you outside. And it's like, you're not killing me. 
so you're not dangerous enough. You need to break into this safe room and come at me. You gotta do it. Make my life. <laughs> because if it just took one grenade, is it, if it took if it took one grenade, then it just did it just take him out? I didn't test him. Beginning only when that fights at certain points. Where the grenade just takes him out. This is just take him out until I get to like the next story objective, which that kind of sucks. And the facts, the problem with him and Mr. X is that one was here too long and the other was here for too short in both games. And it's, <laughs> that's hilarious. Like they overcorrected in the third game. Like his last two transformations, like his death, death should have been the acid pit right there. Don't, don't include the railgun. There's no point of including the railgun. So, um, yeah, I think story-wise, story, you needed more Carlos. I think Carlos was that, yeah, touch in the story. It's like, yeah, I, this, you cool, man. I gotcha. Jill, um, uh, it was all right. It's... I don't know how to say it. She, like, I know she was just trying, just trying to get there, get the vaccine and all that. She's already been through this, but she didn't have the same like connection. Like in the gat last game, you had Claire and she had a connection, but and you had like the half of the game to do that because you. You gotta go save her, surely. And then you had Leon with Ada. Here it was with Jill. Like I, her main gesture was just getting the hell out of there. And I was like, yeah, I get it, but it's like, what did you, what was you like? What, what did you object? on your secondary because at the end of it you escape I'm like yeah that's it I'm gonna fight the good fight and I'm just like that's it you could have grabbed anything you could have grabbed the vaccine notes you could have grabbed I don't know anything but like no I'm, I'm gonna fight the good fight I was like that was it I mean you saw and I mean Resident Evil 2 you had Leon and Claire and a whole like just like them figuring out all this shit and getting that there together here I don't know I I think at near the end I was feeling Carlos and I was like I want more Carlos you know cause he's like I'm working with the bad guy like shit so yeah, that's my take. I think more Carlos would have been fun. Um, I mean, I think that was. I think the main complaints were just it for what it was. It's good, and I know this is a remake, and I've heard, I've seen the mix, and I think. Given how the I've heard this was like a one year development, it's like yeah, yeah you could tell. Ah, it's a C. Did I get a C last time too? No, I think it was a B. Either C or B. Okay, this took eight hours. Oh, no, that's playtime, but it took me five hours to complete. Okay. So, yeah, that was six hours. I, it's a good game. I wouldn't... I mean, for my f second Resident Evil, I say it's like two. Like Resident Evil 2 and then Resident Evil 3 right there below two. I just... Needed more... That's, I think that's what it was. I just needed more. Like, 
I think this could have just been a DLC to Resident Evil 2 and just say Resident Evil 2 Jill story, you know? And I think that would have made people more accepting to this because I know there's cu cut content dealing with a clock tower. And I don't want to deal with a clock tower. I don't know. I don't know what would have been. More puzzles? The puzzles were like, how many actual puzzles were there? Like two, three? Um, so yeah. More action doesn't. I didn't think more action made this better. The knife. Oh, I. That knife. So, I think. Overall, it's good. It's a good five hours. Would I go through it again? I don't know. I mean, Resident Evil 2, I would go through it again just to do BA. But I don't know if I would want to do Resident Evil 3 again. Oh, I died 11 times? Oh, okay. That's impressive. What are my bonuses? Uh, records. Oh, wait, wait. How was I going to kill 20? Oh, wait. I was already halfway through there. Oh, there was two more parts I missed? Okay. Wait, where? Oh, probably those two locations. Wait, I'm missing a safe. Oh, missing a safe. Ooh, I can get costumes. Okay. What do these do? Oh, okay. More region. Oh, okay. These are interesting. Oh, I can. Oh, I can get more. Hot dot. Ooh. Infinite rocket launcher. That sounds fun. How do you? Why is her pose see the zombie? No, it's the zombie or her infected, her infected. Okay. Yeah, I just needed more of stage one nemesis. I can't believe I died to the Charlie head twice. What? No, not the Charlie. It, no, it's a yeah, it's a toy head, ain't it? Again, um, when you get hit in the back or the front, you gotta be those ribs are taking and your back and your spine's taking some hits you ain't walking away and a lot of these people are walking away from like you are crippled hits you know which i think is still funny i'm gonna still point it out it's like you have a broken back you have four broken ribs okay so i can so if i started a new game I get these bonuses. Okay. Okay, so that lets you with some replayability. So what I have... I would have to play the game eight times. Well, that depends. Well, if I don't save, I can just... One.
Look, you can't just say exceptional accuracy and firepower. I need you to tell me it's a one shit kill, a one shot kill. That's what it needs to be. Just tell me that. This blade gets superheated, causes the target to burst in flames. That's pretty cool. In assisted mode. Oh, they don't even let you have these. Oh, I can just go up and just open the door and just get the hell out. Okay. Um, so perfect. Okay, the dodge mechanic. It's fine. It's fine. It's three in exhaustion. It's the first one counts. The two others are just, you're fucked. So, so, like I said, it was fine. It wasn't too special. It... It was just finicky. I think Carlos, for what it was, it was the funniest one ever. But that took two dodges to get the punch to work, unfortunately. Claire, her stumble really, really sucked. So. And like, like I said, you're just gonna just kill him with a knife when you shoot their legs off, which was fine. You don't lose any bullets. And that's important thing right there when you use a knife your gun does not your gun doesn't matter anymore so yeah overall good game maybe i don't know when i'll play resident evil 4 the remake maybe in a month or two we'll see i haven't decided yet i have a full slate of other games to play and pretty busy at the moment too so Oh, that's cool. A crafting companion. <laughs> you just carry that out of your ass. Yep. It's all for Resident Evil 3.